Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love for, oh, sorry, <laughs> move the camera. A weekly love reading for Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from October 12th to the 21st. So for my newbies, hello. Thank you for liking, subbing, viewing, commenting, sharing as well. Um, for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or it could be um, energy from someone within your environment, or someone who's energetically attached to you. Keep in mind, these are just very general messages and it is energy. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. So the roles can be reversed. So just switch them up if you have to. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen. Then we're going to go ahead and do the tarot reading. So Gemini's, um, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really love what I was picking up with you guys. Positive and negative stuff. Okay. Positive and negative with a big, big takeaway. Oh, Gemini's already, already. We're not even a minute in. You're already messing with my throat chakra. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Oh, did not like that. It felt like a pinching, which I'm not used to feeling. Almost like a jab to the throat. <clears> throat> uh, Gemini's, okay, God, I'm not even getting to like what I actually saw and I'm already getting more messages. Uh, Gemini's, you want someone to shut up about something. You want someone to shut up about something or not, or um, wow. Or like, you don't want to talk about something. You don't want to address something. And for some of you, someone's bringing this to your attention and you just want them to shut up about it. Um, Others, it's something that you're realizing you can't ignore, but you don't want to talk about it, okay? So first things first, it was really interesting. Instead of like just getting like visuals or like little seeing little stuff, I did see things, but it was more like experiencing something, like actually being in an environment and having an experience. Like it was almost like this energy of being on a ship and the sun is out, there's a breeze, the ship is going, there's wind in the sails, like very peaceful, very tranquil kind of energy. And Gemini, I do feel like you're embodying that. So you could actually be on a ship and enjoying that. If you are, that's awesome. Good for you. Um, but Gemini, it's this energy of I'm going in the right direction. Life feels good. I feel warm and fuzzy. There's wind in my sails. I'm motivated and I'm getting places. It's like it feels really good. It feels really nice. Then immediately after that, I felt very, like, I felt a little chaotic, okay? Like, a little bit of chaotic energy, a lot of back and forth, a lot of imbalance, a lot of indecision, a lot of what ifs. So it's almost like your peace has been interrupted in a way for some of you. Yeah, yeah. For some of you, your peace has been interrupted. But Gemini's, I gotta be honest, because what I saw next, mm, it kind of seems like it needs to be. It's almost like that ignorance... Thank you, spirit. Ignorance is bliss. You're in a blissful state. And I'm not, I'm just the messenger. So it could be vice versa. Someone could be experiencing this and you could be bringing it to their attention. So don't shoot me just yet. There's an ignorant bliss state that is being interrupted here, Gemini. Okay. An ignorant bliss state. What I saw next was I, like, I'm going to, I'll be honest with you. I didn't love the vibe I was getting from it. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel good, and I think that's why you're also avoiding this, okay? You're avoiding talking about something, or you're wanting someone to shut up about something. I saw a wooden shed, which was so weird. It's just symbolic, and it was like nighttime, it was dark, it was all dilapidated. It's like the shit you put in the shed that you don't ever go in for, right? It's like you put, sh you put shit in there because you don't want to look at it anymore, or you don't want to, you don't take it out often, or it's something you don't need, it's something you don't need, you don't use. And if it's a shed that's dilapidated, no one's been in there for quite some time, right? You know what I mean? It's like, it's the shit that's buried deep within you or in your past that you have no interest in addressing, you have no interest in talking about, you have no interest in digging that shit up, you don't want to face that. It's the shit within you that it's like, that's a closed locked door, throw the key is gone, the key's been thrown away, dropped down the river a long time ago. It's the shed in the back of the property that no one knows about, right? And it almost feels like a horror movie, to be honest with you. Maybe you guys are seeing a horror movie with this kind of plot. I don't know. But it's that kind of energy. I, had, I did have a lot of dread and anxiety about it as well, Gemini. <coughs> Gemini is, ah. Oh, it's going to be a long reading. Okay. Mm. Gemini's. Someone's either poking at this, wanting to talk about it, and you're getting really agitated because it's 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 literally interrupting your ignorance is bliss state where it's like, I forgot about that. I don't want to talk about that. That's like, that's a thing I'm never going to address. But Gemini's, it's being brought up for a reason. For most of you, I feel like it's something that you're being confronted with that you're like, people aren't even talking about because I, I got to be honest, it feels like a secret. It kind of feels a little bit like a secret um, or even just really like deeply buried traumas that maybe you didn't even know were there. And it's almost like you're getting triggered and you're like, what is this? What is this? It, it, it definitely feels like a, 
it's around secrets or has that secretive, dreadful kind of vibe here, Gemini. And it's it's kind of a challenge for you. I can feel it. It's a challenge for you and it is giving you anxiety. <sighs> You're like, I don't want to go in that shed. I don't want to go in that shed. Don't make me go in that shed. You know, it's it's very, very resistant on your end. And keep in mind, this can be vice versa, where it's like you're, you are kind of either asking someone about it or wanting someone to go there or just your existence or presence or a new situation has occurred where this kind of energy is being brought up for someone or, of course, you. And like I said, most of you, you're not being confronted by a person, but it's like a situation's brought it up for you recently. And you're like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Spirit's bringing it up so you can deal with it. So you can finally clean out that shed and, and bulldoze the shed and not have a shed anymore. Okay? Just saying. I know, not the greatest of energies, but I did feel a lot of distraction and chaos energy too around it. Like an avoidance. An avoidance. Like, okay, my ignorant, my ignorant bliss state has now been interrupted. Now how do I cope with this? I'm just going to be distracted. I'm just going to distract, 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 distract. That shed is not over there. What shed? What shed are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Kind of like being distracted about it. Um, but Geminis, I really feel like once you clean out this shed of yours, whatever deep, deep, dark craziness is in there, I think you're going to feel amazing. And like I said, it's happening for a reason to address it, okay? Just the messenger. Don't shoot me. Let's go ahead and get the cards calibrated here. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and oh, I don't want to go there. Even I don't want to go there now as the reader. <sighs> Some of you guys is sexual trauma. Mm. Some of you guys is a sexual trauma. Uh, we don't gotta go down into that on this kind of forum. You know your shit. It's your shit to own. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For my Geminis, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. I think this is stuff that a lot of you haven't just haven't shared with people. If you have, it's been like maybe one person or two out of necessity. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. <sighs> yeah, there, this is all around communication, too. Because, again, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. And a couple of you, you're being, you know, pro probed and prodded by someone who's trying to get you to talk about it. Um... <sighs> God, that throw chakra energy again. It's a big energetic block. It's a big energetic block. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Mm. Like it's more than skeletons in the closet. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Ooh, Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Keep in mind, there's just the pre-shuffle, guys. It's not the actual reading itself. A lot of these messages do pertain to the reading, but sometimes we get extra messages that do not pertain to the reading. So just hang out if this isn't resonating with you. Uh, so Seven of Cups in reverse. This is clarity. Getting rid of the illusion, Gemini. Mm, I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> Moving away from the ignorant bliss. It's very sobering in a not super fun way sometimes. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is communication about it. Communication about it. Oh, I don't like this energy. This is like telling on someone too. I'm getting telling on someone. There's communication coming in, Gemini, that's shattering the illusion. It's like snapping you out of that like ignorance is bliss state, okay? Keep in mind, you could be doing this to someone else. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, energy. Yeah, oh, this is exactly what I mean, Gemini. This needs to happen because it's going to start turning the wheel forward. It's going to start opening doors for you. It's Yeah, it's going to create a lot of energetic space. That's what it's doing. Thank you. Um, it's going to start creating a lot of energetic space for you because you're going to get it out. You're going to be talking about the truth or addressing it. 
and you can let it go. You can finally let that go and whatever burdens or stressors or insecurities or dysfunctions come along with that. We've all got our shit. We've all got our sheds, okay? Again, don't shoot the messenger. I can feel some of your irritation. We've all got our sheds, okay? Um, it's time to shed the shed. Sorry, I couldn't help it. I just thought that was too cute. Anyway, it's going to create a lot of energetic space and it's going to bring in a lot of abundance. A lot of opportunities. I think you're even going to be amazed, Gemini, where it's going to be like, oh man, this is happening, that's happening, that's happening, that's happening, like not too long after you address it. it it's been a big block for whatever Geminis I'm tapped into right now. It's been a big block for you. I don't think you've realized how big. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from October 12th to the 21st. And there's the block card. Whoo! Yeah, it's painful. Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Ten of swords, Gemini energy with the eight of wands in reverse, Sag energy. Eight of wands in reverse is a, is a, a block card for me. It's like, it's like the mountain card in the Norman deck. It's the epitome of obstacle or blockade here. Um, it's also my Mercury retrograde card. Keep in mind, retrograde doesn't happen until Halloween, but the pre-shadow starts on the 11th. Okay, we're going to be seeing a lot of this card for the next couple months. Post-shadow ends in December. With that Ten of Swords, though, I mean, this is about betrayal. This is about the things that were so awful and traumatic and painful for you, especially with Judgment in Reverse. That's never having closure with it, never having any kind of um, absolution. Ooh, that's what I just heard. Absolution or resolution with it, with whatever these painful traumatic events have been. Some of you, it's not sexual trauma, but it's almost like, um, how do I say this? How do I say this? Not trauma, but like, sexual advantage i don't know how else to say that that'll resonate for who it needs to resonate for but whatever it is it's been painful it's been traumatic and you kept it locked up locked up in that deep dark shed i'm also getting the betrayal on those that should have been trustworthy that definitely includes family as well okay placing forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I like this. I like this. I feel like this is you cleaning out that shed here. Three of Pentacles, it's like building. It's forging. There's a sense of trust with this as well. And not just on yourself, not by yourself, but also other people. A lot of you, this is relating to some of your mistrust issues. Okay? And like I said, it's it's around painful shit. It doesn't have to be like something super childhood dramatic. It could also just be something that you experience that caused you to mistrust people. Okay? It could be something as mundane as... I don't know, like you got fired for existing. Like, you know, you know what I mean? It could be something as simple and mundane as that. So, you know, decide how that resonates with you. But I like this because this is building trust again. Oh, Gemini's, this is heavy. By the way, justice on the bottom. Building trust again. I'm tapped into Gemini's here who've had some issues with like, um, how do I say this? see Gemini's it's so funny because like Gemini's you guys are so communicative so communicative and usually with Gemini readings I like blah, 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 blah. like I can't shut up like there's so much information that comes through and I can feel like your blockage is so big it's actually affecting me as the reader because I'm picking up on your energy it's yeah and it's really affected your communication like how do I say this um how do I say this how do I say this how do I say this um <clears throat> one of the main issues has it not like it's not not only a mistrust issue but also like trust of the truth, like spoken truth. Thank you. Spoken truth. Like, can I, like, is it, oh wow. Is it a safe environment to talk? Is it, in, is it a safe environment to speak? Is it in safe, is it a safe environment to share? Like it's that kind of block. It feels really intense. Whatever Gemini's I'm tapped into, I feel like, um, for some of you, this is relating to a childhood issue. I'm, I think the cards are pretty calibrated. Um, relating to a childhood issue. Oh, jeez, I didn't even put that back right. <laughs> relating to a childhood issue of like maybe you were yelled at a lot. Mm, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of verbal abuse with this. Yeah, I'm getting verbal abuse. Verbal abuse. It's like if you spoke, if you shared your opinion, shared your thoughts, there was a lot of backlash there. And for some of you that started at a young age. And so this is, it's time to address this. Sorry, Geminis. It's time to address it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the reading. For those who are new to my channel and new to tarot, please understand that these are very general messages and they will not be for everybody. Oh, out of focus. 
There we go. Uh, messages that come through are for those who need to hear them. As you heard me set the intention, and this is really heavy shit we've already picked up on, I know, so you know it ain't gonna be for everybody, okay? Um, also, guys, keep in mind, we are working with energy. Energy is fluid, it's not linear, so it can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, just switch the roles, it's still resonating. Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy, and the time frame of the video is just a time frame for organizational purposes. Whenever you're guided to watch reading is when you're guided to watch it. Time is not linear either. Okay, let's keep it going. Any messages for Geminis regarding love? Any messages for Geminis regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Geminis regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Geminis regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? 20th just jumped out. That might be an important day for some of you guys. Is there anything happening on the 20th? Planetarily? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Not on the 20th. I don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> any messages for Gemini regarding love? Sorry, ADD moment. It really comes out during Gemini reading. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Any messages for Gemini? <coughs> Gosh darn it, Gemini. Uh, mm. Speak your truth. Okay. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. There's definitely a catalyst in this, though. Like, it could just be a person. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. <laughs> it could just be a person catalyzing you or a situation coming about that's making you have to face this for whatever reason or another. And my camera keeps going out of focus. Okay. Any messages for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Ugh. Any messages for Gemini? And there's the conflict. Five of Wands, Leo energy. I just heard Mars. That happened in another reading recently too. Was that Libra? That happened in another reading recently. I think it was Libra. It might've been Aquarius. Anyway, it was another air sign. So Five of Wands, this is a lot of conflict. I do feel like it's inner conflict. I feel like your twins are almost at battle here. Like one twin wants to go and open the shed and the other twin's like, no, <laughs> don't. I can't do it. I can't do it. For some of you, there's been a lot of recent drama or fighting amongst uh, your social circle or family, or even just what, between you and another person that's caused you to have to look at it for whatever reason or another. And like I said, for some of you, there's someone poking at it, wanting you to talk about it. Either way, it's creating conflict because you don't want to go there. But you kind of got to go there, Geminis. Let's see what else we got. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm also getting that for a lot of you who suffered from verbal abuse or a lot of pushback when it came to speaking your truth or just being yourself. Uh, it's created a bit of a block for you that also has caused you to miss out on a lot of opportunities because you felt like you couldn't speak on it because you felt like you couldn't just go and ask or talk about it. Okay, that's definitely for some of you. Um, a lot of this inner conflict is creating a lot of instability, though. Be careful here, Geminis, because I do feel like you're delaying your opportunities the longer you avoid that shed. Okay, I definitely feel that. Any other messages for Geminis? Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Keep in mind the full moon in Aries is on the 13th. That will be creating a lot of conflict. It will, because people are going to be very, like, revved up to kind of confront people on revealing shit, because it's a full moon in Aries, and we are going into Scorpio season, and we already will have Venus in Scorpio and Mars in Scorpio as well, already starting the pre-shadow, digging up a lot of shit, a lot of probing questions, a lot of probing communication. With the full moon in Aries, we're going to be extra extra people are going to be extra so keep that in mind gemini's that while this is going on you're going to feel more of that mars combative energy oh mars uh, mars combative energy from other people and even from within yourself okay especially if you're a gem cancer cusper because it is full moon energy king of wands more of that fire energy leo energy could also be fire or air but i feel a stare down with this I feel a stare down. I feel a confrontation. I don't like this energy. Um, you don't want to go there, Geminis, but a part of you knows you should. So a part of you wants to take action in addressing this because it is creating a lot of instability for you and a lot of inner conflict and some of you external conflict as well with other people. And you do. it's almost like, oh yeah, Geminis, if you're being confronted by someone who's like trying to poke at it, you're going to push right back. 
careful. I feel major con I feel major arguments coming out of that. I feel a major, major pushback. Um, but I do also feel a bit of like a challenging energy within yourself. Like maybe I can go to the shed. Maybe I can open the shed. Maybe I can look at this shit. Maybe I can actually do it. Maybe I can actually do it. It feels very, very fiery, very persistent, very motivated, but it's very aggressive as well. Okay. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, it's interesting because it's like Gemini's. I feel like you go from avoidance to anxiety to aggression and almost anger. Yeah, it's like that's the progression. That's definitely the progression here. Any other messages for uh, Gemini? Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. And I do feel that for a lot of you, whatever is in your shed, you, you, you have a right to be angry about. Whatever was that happened to you, whatever the event was. And it's, okay. oh, Gemini's, it's okay to get angry. Some of you, this is a block about your emotional emotions and how to address anger. Oh, this is interesting. It's okay to get angry. Ooh. Any messages for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? I, must, I feel like I'm talking to some very repressed Geminis. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yep, whatever's in the shed, you're staring it down. Geminis, I feel like you guys are going to go there. I feel like you're either going to open it out of your own free will or it's going to be a matter of like, okay, there's no way I can't address this anymore. I, it needs to be addressed because you're getting so much pushback from other people or just you can't stand the own inner conflict with yourself. It's driving you nuts and I love it. Overall energy, we've got the lovers. Gemini energy, this is your card. I do feel like this is about having your twins in balance here. In balance, not imbalance, in balance <laughs> here, okay? Having your wits about you, being grounded during this whole process, making a head over heart decision. You're make, it's interesting because you're making a rational decision about your emotional baggage or your emotional traumas. Very, very fascinating, Gemini. It's only in a Gemini reading. Underneath that, we do have the Page of Swords. Truth being spoken about. Nine of Wands, wounds. The Wounded Warrior energy, Sag energy. Every single wound you've ever gotten that's still up in that shed. Being honest with yourself about it and addressing it. Two, victory. Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. You can do it, Geminis. You can do it. You can do it. We've all had to open that shed at some point. Sometimes you get to that shed and you're like, holy shit, there's a row of 10 more sheds. What the hell? Sometimes that happens, okay? Sometimes we can't look at the really, really awful shit until we address, like, I just talked about this in a reading today, I swear. I think it was Libra. I really think it was Libra, which I kind of look at as more of a cousin sign of yours than Aquarius, because Libra's about balance and Gemini's, you're that duality of the twins, while Aquas are just kind of like out of the box thinkers, like very unique into their own. Um, so anyway, Libra, Libra might really resonate with you. And we're in Libra season. You should watch it anyway. I know. You guys just make me talk a lot. Geminis. Addressing those wounds in your shed. Why you feel wounded. Why you maybe have a lot of defenses. Maybe why you act a little guarded sometimes. Um, and having victory in that. Having victory in cleaning out that shed and addressing whatever this awful thing is. Okay? It's going to be different for all of you. But it feels really heavy. It feels really, really heavy. I feel like some of you are doing this because of a relationship or like I said, because a person's poking, 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 bringing it up, but you will have victory and you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel so amazing after you do this, Gemini. Um, I don't want to get out. I, okay. I'm being pulled into a whole other group of you or a whole other story here, but I don't, it's almost like I don't want to go there. That's so funny. Maybe I'm just channeling your energy. I don't want to go there. I want to stay here. Wait, why am I being pulled? Oh, interesting. Gemini's, for some of you, this is because of a person that you're addressing it. Someone that you're actually actively watching. You're watching them, Gemini. Don't watch them too close. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You're watching them. Or someone could be watching you. Keep in mind, this all could be vice versa, right? Like I say, I always say. But there's a sense of watching and keeping tabs and like addressing this shit for the better, for the, addressing this shit for a relationship or for a person. And if it is a relationship that you're doing this for, Gemini, or if someone's doing this for you, it's very, very um, intense. It's a very divine, it's a divinely guided connection here, okay? Not only are you two soulmates, but even spirit wants you two, to, two together, 
which might be also why you're being put yeah for some of you you might not realize that that's the reason that this is coming up for those in that group of like the romance group I just picked up on but spirit wants you two together and it's almost like oh someone must be spiritually protected here because I <laughs> this is a lot of downloads sorry gems um someone must be spiritually protected here because I'm getting from spirit like this can't happen till you address that and they're probably bringing it up in different ways, whether they're sending you signs, synchronicities, or you're coming across stuff like uh, in media or just like out in public that reminds you of that, whatever's in your shed. And then because of that, it's, you can't get out of your head. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. Definitely only for a few of you. Okay, so Gemini's back to you and looking at the shed here. Let's look at the five of wands. Let's look at your inner conflict. Need to write or wait for this one. So I have the five of wands. For Gemini, why the Five of Wands for Gemini regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Find the Five of Wands for Gemini regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Find the Five of Wands for Gemini regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Okay. Hey, that's too many cards, Spirit. Too many cards. Too many cards. One of the Five of Wands for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of Five of Wands for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Hmm. Time of this Five of Wands for Gemini. You're really in your head, Gemini's. I have the Five of Wands for Gemini's regarding love, October 12th. I know, you live there. <laughs> I just heard someone say that or think that. I literally just heard someone's inner dialogue. I'm a Gemini. I live in my mind. I know. I know. You're right. I know. So I have the Five of Wands for Gemini. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior Energy. Those wounds, all nine of them. <laughs> Whatever. This is making up. Oh, geez. I can't pick this up. Oh, well, it was like this. That's so interesting. It ended up like that. Um, you're going to put this behind you, Gemini. You're going to empty out that shed. You're going to put it behind you. But this is the cause of that Nine of Wands energy. Very, very defensive. Very defensive. Talk about the Five of Wands. Ooh, Magician in Reverse. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for music reader. Divine masculine energy. Very interesting, Gems. Because like I was saying, it's like once you deal with this, there's going to be so much more energetic space for you. And you're going to have those block. Oh, focus. And you're going to have those blocks removed to create space to manifest, to get these opportunities in that you really want. You can't do that in this state. You can't do that in this state. I mean, you just, you can't. So, I'm sorry. You, you can't because you're so guarded and it's still something you're carrying around with you. For some in the form of multiple blockages, not just one, like the many we've already addressed so far. And it's also affecting the way you communicate, which is kind of big, right? That's really big when it comes to opportunities. So you're really conflicted about this. It's putting you, it's putting you in a state of anxiety for some, and then quickly that goes to anger and aggression. Tell me about the five of wands. Because like I said, I feel like whatever it is that is in that shed is something, yeah, something you have the right to be angry about. Ten of swords, Gemini energy. Oh my God. I almost feel like whatever this is, it's keeping you, it's been keeping you pinned. It's like old ways of doing things. Wow, this is painful. Whatever it is, it's really painful, Gems. I'm sorry. We've all got to go there sometimes, though, right? So I got five of wands for Gemini. I also feel trickery about... Why do I feel trickery? Oh, for somebody that's part of the painful event. Betrayal, trickery. So I got five of wands. So I got five of wands for Gemini regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Overall energy... Mm -hmm. lovers in reverse gemini energy underneath that we do have the world fixed energy aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn Charles, capricorn with the empress in reverse libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy and then we've got the five of wands again double confirmation there leo energy so like i said gemini's for a lot of you this is facing this shit in a balanced way it while you're in this inner conflict you're not balanced you're so not balanced here but you know you want to get over it you know that you do want to put it behind you. You know you want to. 
you know deep down you want to with the empress in reverse here with the five of wands this is also really interesting to me because i feel like for some of you it's just more of your same energy of being conflicted and again the energy of like not being able to manifest right not being able to have growth or abundance in your life when you, all you want is that newness of abundance um but for some of you i am feeling more of that romantic interest kind of come up here almost feels like a wall What is this? What is this wall that I'm sensing? Some of you might be realizing slow, oh, slowly, slowly realizing that you've been pushing back um, an energy that, that you are connecting to romantically because of this. For some of you, that's actually a wake-up call because you don't want that. That's interesting. Yeah, because you don't want that. I can feel it. That's definitely for some of you. Definitely for some of you. Okay. Let's keep it moving to the King of Wands and the big bad shed secret. Whatever is being stored up in that shed, let's take a look at it. It's probably going to be different for all of you, like I said, so we might get a very general energy here. Um, but for some, we might get specific. So let's just find out. Mm. <laughs> I was like, what do I want? Actually, I want spellcasters. I want spellcasters. So I have the Ten of Swords. So I have the Ten of Swords. For Gemini, some of you, it could be something in an existing relationship that you have. Some of you could just be childhood trauma. Some of you could just be baggage from relationships or baggage from dealing with family or friends or shitty work situations. Either way you cut it, it's something you've been keeping in the shed. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, and it's painful. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Gemini regarding love. Mostly leading to trust issues, but also um, issues around trust, around communication as well, okay? And general communication blocks. Talking about Ten of Swords. Keep in mind, King of Wands can also be a fatherly energy. So for those with this as a childhood issue, it could have been relating to your father or a patriarchal figure, okay? Not necessarily, but I'm just calling it out because I see it. Talking about Ten of Swords for Gemini regarding love. I just heard October 2nd. Something might have happened on October 2nd for you. Um, could have been a significant date. Tell me about Ten of Swords for October for October 12th to the 21st for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. I just heard criticism. Very criticism. Uh, some of you, this this also might have stemmed into an issue around receiving criticism. Tell me about Ten of Swords. Oh, and giving it. Interesting. And giving it. And not feeling worthy to give it. Oh my god, what's going on here, Gemini? Putting up all kinds of stuff for you guys. <laughs> so I'm a ton of swords for Gemini regarding love. Oh yeah, see, you don't want to talk about this. You don't want to talk about this. So I'm a ton of swords for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Don't make me break up the Lenormand deck. I will. Don't make me do it, Gemini. We'll get real detailed here. Tell me about Ten of Swords. Gemini, you're about to give me no choice. Tell me about the... Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> just as I said that. Ten of... Oh, do you see how the camera just glitched out? Ten of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy with the Page of Cups. Being honest about letting this go. Being honest with yourself about letting this go. Page of Cups is very authentic kind of communication regarding emotions here. And Ten of Wands in reverse is I don't want to carry this with me anymore. I don't want to carry this with me anymore. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Hmm. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Like I said, some of this is relating to your family shit. Okay, but at the end of the day, you know, it's affecting your stability, which is also why you need to address the shed. And it's so funny because it almost looks like a shed right there, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, granted, it looks like they, they got some rough times and some rough living. But anyway, um, this is regarding your legacy and what you really want for yourself. You want stability. You want happiness. You want abundance. You know you want it. And you're like, okay, let's open that door because it's stopping me from my Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is what I really want. Again, that head over heart decision, right? Tell me about the Ten of Swords, even though it's about your heart. I love you, Gemini. Tell me about Ten of Swords 
for Geminis regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Ay. Seven of Wands just came out. It landed right on the Five of Wands. Seven of Wands is Leo energy. Again, your defense is about it. You know that this, you know that you've been getting in your own way. Quite literally, you know you've been getting in your own way of the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, that's like just not just legacy, but sometimes that's all, for a lot of you that could also be um not sometimes I misspoke there. Uh for a lot of you that could be about creating a family, creating a business, creating a home, just creating a really stable, abundant life. I just heard for not wanting for anything either. Oh, I like that. I like that. You've been blocking it. You know that. That's, that's also why you want to address this. Yeah, it's very general energy because it's going to be different for all of you. Overall energy, we do have a page of pentacles. This is taking a new perspective. Learning. Learning of the situation you're in, even though it feels like, you know, feels really new, feels really like you feel tender about it. You feel tender about it. I also feel an extension here. I also feel a little bit of an olive branch. What is this olive branch I'm feeling? Gemini's the Gemini's I'm tapped into keep in mind it can be vice versa I'm tapped into very masculine Gemini's here um again it's not reliant on gender um it's energy but I'm feeling an olive branch with this I am going to lose Jesus I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this to figure out what this is and then I'm going to go ahead and use uh the oracle cards for advice oh crap hmm <coughs> <coughs> Oh, okay. Gemini's, address that throat chakra, please. Okay. Because I've been pretty good all day. Just saying. Uh. <clears throat> oh, Gemini's, I think you're about to talk to somebody with this card. Especially with the Page of Cups as well. Very sincere. <clears throat> very sincere, very emotion-filled, and very tangible kind of communication here. Yeah, you're about to talk to somebody. Holy shit. Mm okay oh man i got water on my glasses <laughs> oh well i'll just not get trying not to get distracted by it tell me about the page of pentacles tell me about this page of pentacles for gemini regarding love october 12th to the 21st where are we at minute wise 36 oh okay not bad not bad for a gemini reading <laughs> you guys always end up with really long readings tell me about the page of pentacles for gemini Ugh. regarding love october 12th to the 21st Communication. Communication with the birds. Energy of 12, break it down to a three with the seven of pentacles. Evaluating, looking at yourself, being introspective, and also talking to someone else. You're definitely talking to someone else about it. This is external communication and it's direct. It's like in-person communication. You're definitely going to be talking to somebody about this. And I feel like it's going to be very healing for you too. I feel like you kind of need that purge a little bit here. I think you kind of need that purge to help you heal from this and let this go. Cleaning out your shed. Tell me more with the Page of Pentacles. Tell me more with the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> For Gemini, I feel like it's someone you respect. I feel like it's someone you respect. It's someone you look up to. They can even be older than you, not necessarily. But it's someone you definitely look up to. Someone, oh, this Gemini is... Is interesting. You respect them and you look up to them, but because for some of you this is relating to trust issues, it's almost like a way of challenging yourself. Like I'm speaking to Gemini's of major like like issues just trusting people. And it's like, okay, I've got this thing. I need to talk about it. You could for some of you, you're even talking to your empress here. Okay, for some of you you're even talking to your empress. It's like, all right, I'm going to try the baby steps towards trust. And I'm going to talk about this. So I have the Page of Pentacles. The Moon. 32 breaking down to a 5 with the 8 of Cups here. The 8 of Cups of what you want to be happy. And what you want to be happy is to get rid of the shed. Is to get rid of the shit in the shed. The Moon is also a work energy. So you could be talking to somebody at work or someone you work with. Not necessarily. But the Moon is also reminding me of the actual Moon card. So about the secrets that are hidden here. And things that are very emotional. Very, very freaking emotional. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Gemini. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. So I have the Page of Pentacles for Gemini regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. 
So I have the Page of Pentacles for Gemini. Regard. Oh, that's it. On the bottom. I can never say this word. <laughs> can never say this word. Skith. Sky. Wraith. Whatever. The Reaper thing. The Reaper thing. Uh, cyclical energy with the Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire. Knight of Pentacles is all about growth. It's all about growth and abundance and building things in the right way, even if it means having to go through some obstacles, right? This is getting rid of that stuff. Getting rid of the past, getting rid, wow, with the tree, seven of cups, energy of five. The tree represents a lot of things. It could be family, getting rid of a family issue. Um, it could also mean health, getting rid of a mental health issue with that seven of cups, right? Seven of cups is indicative of mental health. Um, something that's very deeply rooted, very, very deeply rooted. Something that's taken hold of you in a way that you, you didn't want it to. Even if it was something that um, happened in like a relationship or something like that, took a hold in a way that it was like, damn it, I shouldn't have let that happen. I shouldn't have let that go unaddressed. Getting rid, chopping down that freaking tree, chopping it down, chopping it down. Gemini's, I like this reading. I know it's really heavy. It started off really heavy, but it's ending really nicely because you're going to be talking about this and you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel more free. You're going to have more energetic space and you'll be on your way towards that 10 of pentacles that you know you deserve. Okay. Because you'll actually be able to manifest it now that you don't have all this shit getting in the way. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some advice. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis? Oh, come on. Regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any ad Whoa. Oh, very nice. Wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. 67 breaking down to a four to have that stability to get to that abundant place, whether it's your just your job or a family or relationship, to start getting more to start getting closer to your legacy and no longer missing opportunities and getting away from instability here. Okay. This is learning from the shit that you're digging up. Okay. Owning it and letting it mature you, letting it heal you, letting it help you grow. I like it. I really like it, Geminis. Also learning that it's okay to get angry. I don't know why that keeps coming up. It's okay to be angry about the things that are validly making you angry. It's okay to express it. Thank you. It's okay to express that in a healthy way, in a tactful way. It's also okay to speak. It's okay to speak. Yeah, it's just about you learning about your blockages, how to get rid of them, and learning what is generally okay that you haven't felt comfortable with because of your woundings, okay? Any other advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for Geminis? Oh, Otter Spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. This is my six of cups lovers, two of cups, yummy goodness energy. Some of you, like I said, this is about a romance. Or again, for some of you are just reaching out to someone that you really respect, that you look up to. Wolf is also like a teaching energy here, okay? This is someone who has your back, Gemini. And I think that's also what's what you're realizing with testing out this little like baby step of trust. You're like, oh damn, they do have my back. Oh man, I can trust them. Oh, they do support me. You know, it's like having that moment of like, okay, okay, I can do this. Okay, I, I can get rid of this baggage. Okay, I can start trusting people again. Baby steps, of course. But for some of you, this is a romantic interest that is like total kindred spirit, total kindred spirit and just understands you, totally gets you. And there's something about maturity with this person. And it's it's kind of, it's being, yeah, it's being exchanged. It's being exchanged. You guys are exchanging energies, almost like you're exchanging lessons. You guys learn a lot from each other. You learn a lot from each other. I think it was uncomfortable at first to deal with this person, especially if you were dealing with an empress where it was purely romantic versus someone who's just an ally. Okay? I like it. Any other advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for Geminis regarding this spread? That's it. Overall, oh, yes. Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Opening that deep, that dark, scary shed is what? Breaking that blissful ignorance. Truth transcends illusion. This is self-mastery energy. Geminis, you can do this. You can so do this, okay? Underneath that, you know why you can do it? Because koala spirit. 
Spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an eight, leading you to success, prosperity, and what did, I, what did I say? Abundance. It's an abundant vibration. It's also my blueprint card. Whatever's happening right now, it was supposed to happen this way. Let this shit get dug up. Open that shed. Clear it out. Even if you have to reach out to your ally or your romantic interest where you will realize... I needed to talk, I needed to deal with this person. I needed to learn from this person. I need to be with this person. Again, take it as it resonates. Underneath that, time for beginner mind. Porcupine spirit, 48, was that right there? A three, communication. Communication about something uncomfortable, about new information, about taking on a new perspective and changing the way you see things or just changing within yourself because you're addressing your wounds here. And then crow spirit, co-create with spirit, 17, breaking down to an eight, another prosperous, abundant vibration. Working with spirit to do this. Spirit's been nudging you to do this. Spirit's been nudging you to do this. Whether they threw a romantic interest in your life, a very divinely guided connection, and they're like, oh no, you're going to get your shit together if you want to deal with this person. Or just trying to get you there to dig up these wounds and to do the healing you have to do. Because part of your blueprint, you got other shit going on. You got other shit you got to do. You want that Ten of Pentacles? Spirit wants you to have that Ten of Pentacles. You can do this, Gemini. You can do this, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Geminis. Namaste.